and welcome back to Dark Parables Portrait of the Stained Princess. And we find ourselves back here in this moonlight room. All right. We do have an objective here. Awesome. I remember getting up to this point. Definitely. I want a crystal ball. That looks so pretty. Let's see here, we're looking for a crystal ball looking thing, some flowers, a heart, that's not it. Let's see here, there we go. On color right there. This is beautiful, looks like something from Zelda. Okay, that's not it. I'm looking for some golden pieces. Now we're looking for floral pieces and maybe something looks like a flat crown. Hmm. I feel like I'm just looking too closely at this in detail and it's just completely missing it. Okay. Wait. Oh man, that was hard. I know you guys see it, don't you? You see this red flower? Where is it? Sometimes they make this too difficult. Well, at least you can say it's challenging. That's a good way to put it. It's challenging. And they have the hints in case you get stuck. So, yeah. There it is. I'm kind of just leaning back in my chair and trying to look at it as a large <laughs> larger view instead of little individual pieces sometimes it helps oh that's beautiful oh it's gorgeous flower of beauty that reminds me of a preserved rose my grandmother used to have it was like it was a red rose that preserved in the liquid in like a clear snow globe. She had it up until her late 70s and it started to uh, look pretty gnarly. It got, the water started turning brown and everything. Yeah. I've never seen another one of those though, ever. There's a little duckling. Does a duckling go here and then this go here? All right, the bird is here. Why did they leave without her? Is she trying to tell me something? Well, obviously, you know. There we go. And what is this? Uh-huh, yeah, it was the key. Lead. The princess to the gym on the right. Use the sea creatures to rotate the magical tokens and clear her path. Princess goal. So this is what we gotta. Oh. 
Just want to clear the main path? There we go. You have to be strategic with this. Is that it? Uh-uh, don't do it. I see it. So when you move those, it pushes that. You just gotta get these monsters off of here, right? I believe this was the easiest puzzle of the game. A land bridge rising itself from the sea. That's how you do it. So that's how you're supposed to get to the islands? Alright. Is that a ship? Craggly Rock. I know where this goes. What are you doing? Uh-huh, yeah. So you figured our plan out. I know I must see monstrous imprisoning people on canvas, but I needed the water of life. Tonight's my last chance to break the curse. I came to reclaim the honor of my ancestors. I was faced with a choice. Burn the portrait or help the princess. I chose to help her. Yep, so he was in on it all along. And that's why the knight was wearing the mask. I'm sorry I put your life at risk, but I couldn't allow you to meddle. He wondered why Alita refused to get in the boat. She knew that we needed to raise the road to the islet to reach the water of life. We still need Aleda to claim it, however. Please, would you get her for me? Well, I can try. But I'm going to search the area first. Is there anything else that's clickables? Get the bird. Carry the bird. Go to the island with the bird. There we go. Eat the bird. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, detective. Now I can finally dispel the curse. I really love her dress. It's beautiful. Black Swan! I knew you could do it. I have been waiting for you for so long. Let me go. You still don't remember me? I am Fiacra of the end of the world. The Prince of Astaria. You'll never keep your promise unless the world is shrouded in eternal darkness. There is no other way. Well, I wasn't sure how that was going to play out. <laughs> well, he is called the Dark Prince. I didn't really think he was going to turn out to be evil. Maybe he misunderstood. I can't just smack him on the face. Smack, smack, smack. 
They have to make everything so challenging. I guess I'm gonna have to dump water on his head or something. That would be the, the second thought. Hmm. Oh, I wonder what goes here. An insect there. Uh, look how cute little mushrooms. I don't believe any of this goes here. A fishing basket. Do I need to open it? I don't believe this is it. What else? A key. Need a key. Oh, I like these little dragonflies. What's that? A flask? I fill that with water? Yes? Yes? I believe so. No. We don't fill that with water here. Okay. What good is it for my eyes to be cured if you have forgotten your promise? I prefer staying in the darkness forever. Still missing one. You tell me that you cannot come out into the light, so let me tell you how the world looks in the daytime. You tell me that you might no longer be able to see, even in twilight. Please go find your cure. And if the light disappears from your world, I will chase away the darkness. Oh, that's really sweet. I don't see anything else that's clickable. What about... Oh! I got a fish. Just a fish to feed these birds? I'm sure we'll find out. We need an anchor for that. We need an octopus for this. Oh, it's guarding something. Tasty morsel. Ah ha. All right. Was the door over to the right? Yeah. What's in here? Cave chamber. Oh, it's a cool old music maker. What were these called? Record player? I feel like phonograph? Is that it? You brought light into the world of darkness before. Perhaps if the world becomes completely dark, you will remember your promise. So that's the strategy. Another one? The clan with no hearts. Alright. Alita uh, was always said to be the smallest and weakest among the guardians. Magical guardians keep a blue blood's heart. Even royal family member, every royal family member, has their own magical bird. Alita has my heart. Fiona will keep Alita well. I don't want to grow up like most of my family with a ferocious guardian and an ugly heart. Makes sense. There is something to do here. Oh my goodness, I have not, ooh. A puzzle I might have to come back to. <laughs> that one looks complicated. I think we'll have enough time to mess with this. Okay. Calls for a funnel. Don't have a funnel yet. Okay. 
Nothing goes there. What else is there? The record on the record player. I'm supposed to hit a button. Needs a crank. Still something to do here. All right, it needs a flask. Is there a flask over here? Faucet goes there. The sink. Is this where we get our water? I hit this. Awesome. Still got something to do here. What am I missing? Did I not click on these things? Alright game, help me out. Oh. Can't dump water on him. Okay. I have no idea what the use is for. Am I missing something? Okay. This goes to that. Need some more pieces. Oh, does this go to that? Mm -mm. I don't think so. Oh, we need the shovel. Dig. <laughs> No, not exactly what I was looking for. Okay. And we need a candle for the flying lantern. But this is like the ones they use in Rapunzel. You know, Tangle, Rapunzel movie. Yeah. Alright. I don't think we hit that with a shovel, but maybe we use this to pull that out? Or we pick the lock with that. Mm, pick the lock. Dig for buried treasure. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. See those creepy teeth? Oh, there they are. We got a little wriggle face. Mm. A bug? A quick a piece of quick a bug? There it is. Oh, 
supposed to weird doll of the prince? Ooh, his teeth are so creepy. It's supposed to be a nutcracker. And this goes on that shelf, right? In the carriage room, whatever you call it. Oh my, well, this one is gonna have to wait. I'm not gonna have enough time in this video. Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and read you that parable I promised. White swan, black swan. Long ago, there were two princes in the white swan kingdom. The older prince was gentle, brave, and skilled in fighting but merciful to those who offended him. The younger prince was naughty, ruthless, intolerant, and threatened everyone and everything horribly. Their parents was disappointed that the younger son was not as brilliant as his brother. As he grew older, he came to embrace his dark side even more. The younger prince was such a nightmare to deal with that no one could love him. His existence became a stain on the royal family. He mockingly called himself the Black Swan. One day, the Dark Prince vanished. No one cared about his disappearance, as he wasn't next in line to inherit the throne. In fact, the prince was soon forgotten by everyone, like a bad memory. Rumors said that he was either dead or had been kidnapped by demons. Several years later, a procession came at midnight bearing the flag of the Black Swan emblem. The younger prince was leading the procession. Beside him was a beautiful lady and a ferocious monster bird. People said the lady who the young prince married was a fairy. He must have become the king of a kingdom in a, the other world. One person even claimed that he had come into contact with the people in the procession. The people in the procession was either souls of living people, lost in dreams or souls that of those who had died but did not realize yet they were dead. Rumors spread fast. People believed in the existence of the kingdom of the Black Swan, but they did not know where it was. It was said that the Black Swan was a cab cabinet cab cab cabdet. There we go, cabdet branch of the White Swan. While the white swan ruled the world under the light, the black swan dominated the world of darkness. While the black swan was never officially recorded in history, many people still believed in legends about it. Alright everyone, I want to thank you for watching today's video. We've hit about 20 minutes. Please stay tuned for the next video, and remember to like and subscribe. Bye y'all!